This is Mr. Kanyele for Visual X Masterclass. I want us to continue with probability. What is probability? It is a chance of something happening or not happening. There are a few rules about four that I want us to master. One of them is given in the data sheet, in your formula sheet. The other ones, you must know them. Here are the rules. This is called an additional rule. Probability of A or B is equals to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. This probability of A and B is the intersection. That's why we minus the intersection. What are mutually ex exclusive events? Those are events that does not have the intersection. For example, if they, they, we've got even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and we've got odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Do we have intersection there? No, we don't have intersection. You'll never find an even number that is an odd number. So there is no intersection there. Such events, we refer to them as mutually exclusive events where there is no intersection. Remember what we said that was. It was an intersection. So when we say the events are mutually exclusive, it's, it's a scenario like this one. Uh, let me just make an example quickly here. This is, these are events A, these are events B. There is no intersection between those two events. So, in other words, what is the intersection? It is zero. This is what it's saying. If the events are mutually exclusive, the probability of A and B, which is your intersection, it will always be equal to zero. Coming to these uh, other events, this becomes your keyword. If the examiner tells you that these are complementary angles, this fact remains. That the probability of A plus probability of B is equal to 1. Others will say uh, probability of A plus probability of not A this simply means not A will be equals to 1. This, of course, can be manipulated depending on what you are looking for. If you are just looking for probability of A, it will be equals to 1 minus probability of B. If you are looking for probability of B, it will be equals to 1 minus probability of A. Remember, probability of A and plus probability of not A is equal to 1. We made an example previously that if, if you have a team like Lamont Vilkel and Arrows, if they have 20 players, and 11 are playing, starting 11. How many reserves do we have? We'll have about nine reserves. But if you add those that are playing, you add to those that are not playing. How many teams do they form? They only form one team. That is where the one comes from. The, the, we call them complementary events. Yes, they complement each other. Those that are playing and those that are reserves, they are complementing each other. You'll never find someone playing and being a reserve at the same time. You substitute, you bring one out, to bring another one in. Those are complementary events. Probability of those that are playing and prob probability of plus probability of those that are not playing, they'll form one team. Uh, we come to independent events. In the independent events, probability of A and B, sometimes we call this product rule. Probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times B. Now, you'll, you'll find a number of questions dealing with all these this types of events, which I want us to go straight into them now. If you look at the paper that was set uh, in, uh, in, as an exemplar paper in 2014, it was question 11 that deals with these types of events. Remember, when I have probability of A or B, I will know definitely that this will be the, the, the additional rule, where it says probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus, probabi minus the intersection, which is probability of A and B. Right. Uh, question 11, example 2014. Events A and B are mutually exclusive. This becomes my keyword. Ah, what do I know about mutually exclusive events? I look at my table here. Mutually exclusive events, this is what I know. Probability of A and B is zero. There is no intersection. This part is not there. I know the value of this part. Once they say uh, mutually exclusive events, 
on my additional rule, I know that probability of A and B, these two, there is no intersection here, so it is zero. So they've already given me the value of probability of A and B by saying that the events are mutually exclusive. And the, we're given that probability of B is equal to 2 probability of A, right? Probability of B is equal to 2 probability of A. You can express one in terms of the other one. That's what it's meaning there. Probability of A or B is equal to 0 0.57. Where do usually you see the probability of A or B? Yes, we see it in the additional rule, probability of A or B. Let's write our formula down. Our formula says probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. Remember we told that these events were mutually exclusive. What does that tell us? It tells us the value of the intersection is zero. There is nowhere where those events are intersecting. Right. What is the question looking for in this particular case? We're just looking for the probability of, of B. We're just looking for the probability of B. This is the, what we are looking for. Now, I always suggest that what we are looking for, we must not get rid of, of, of. Because at the end, you must have probability of B is equal to something. So you must keep probability of B. Let's do this thing. This, I know exactly this is what I'm looking for. Do I know what is probability of A or B? Yes, we are given. We are given that this is 0 0.57. 0, 0.57. Remember, this is what we are looking for. This is called to probability of A. Am I given anything about probability of A? No, I don't know what probability of A. But I know that probability of B is equal to 2 probability of A. How can... I can either have A's here so that I can have one unknown or I can have B's. So I would prefer that we keep probability of B rather than probability of A, even though if you keep probability of A, you will work it out and go back to this information for you to solve it. Let's go back, to, let's go straight to what we're looking for, the probability of B. Now, <clears throat> how can I express probability of A in terms of B so that I can have one unknown? Ah, if I want to have probability of Probability of B is equal to 2 probability of A. I want to have probability of B there. If I want to have probability, what will be probability of A? I will divide by 2 this side and divide by 2 this side. In other words, I will have something like this. Probability of A, if I divide this by 2, is equal to half probability of B. Ah. What is it that I've done here? I've just divided by 2 on both sides, so that I'll know what is probability of A in terms of B. If I divide this by 2, I'll left with probability of A. If I divide it by 2, by two, I've got half of this, because this is one probability of B, now it will be half, half probability of B. So in other words, what is this saying? Wherever I see probability of A, I can put half probability of B. Then I will have only probability of Bs. Let's do this thing. So wherever I see probability of A, because I want to be left with B, I don't look, I'm not looking for probability of A, I'm looking for probability of B. So wherever I see probability of A, I will substitute that, which is half uh, probability of B. This is exactly as probability of A. Of course, plus uh, probability of B minus what is probability of A and B? Am I given that? No, I'm not given, I'm given all probability of A or B which I've substituted here. I'm given this which I've just used here. But what is that going to be? Minus probability of A and B are events A and B are mutually exclusive. Remember for mutually exclusive events the probability of A and B is zero. So I know I push in this, you don't ignore it. You push that you understand that the probability of A and B is zero. Mutually exclusive events. There is no intersection there. The question wanted me to calculate the probability of B. Now let me work on the probability of B. If I add these two, I will have 0 
uh, is equal to, let me just uh, put it in the correct order so that I will, I will know what I'm looking for. I've got half plus one. What is half plus one? It's one and a half, which is three over two. Three over two, probability of B. I've added this two. That is nothing. This is equal to 0 0.57. Remember what we're looking for? We're just looking for probability of B. When looking for probability of B, you multiply both sides by what? To get rid of this one by 2 over 3. So this is times 2 over 3. Therefore, the probability of B will then be equal to. When you multiply that, you must get uh, 19 over 50. Uh, this is 19 over 50 or if you want to do it in decimal it's gonna be a 0 0.38 0 0.38 this is the value of the probability of B thank you